Today we are going to review tally charts, pictographs, and bar graphs. A tally chart is a chart made using tallies that records data or information. Each tally mark equals one vote. So if we look at the tally chart down below, it shows would you rather fly or would you rather be invisible? Well, I know when I see four tally marks plus one going across, that equals five. When I count how many people wanted to fly, I have five, ten votes. How many people wanted to be invisible? I check out my tally marks. There's a group of five. Five people wanted to be invisible. What is more? Would more people rather fly or be invisible? You're right. More people would rather fly. When we look at a tally chart, there's different parts. Usually on the top is what we call the title. It's letting us know what the tally chart is about. The title of this tally chart is called Favorite Fruits. On the side, we have what we call the labels. It's letting us know the different choices students had. They could choose from apples, pears, cherries, or grapes. And over here, this information is what we call the data. If we were going to go and ask our classmates what was their favorite fruit, every time someone said apple, we'd put a tally mark by the apples. If someone said grapes, we'd put a tally mark by the grapes. Looking at this tally chart, what was the student's favorite fruit? Did you say cherries? You're right. Six people voted for cherries. What was the class's least favorite fruit? You got it. The grapes only had one vote. Let's take a different type of chart. It's called a pictograph. A pictograph is a graph that organizes and shows information using pictures. The title of this pictograph is, Do Superheroes Prefer Math, Science, or Reading? You can see that for math, they're using pictures. And there are four pictures. So, four people preferred math. If you look under the science, there's one, two, three pictures. Three superheroes prefer science. And under reading, there are one, two, three pictures. Three superheroes prefer reading. What did most superheroes prefer? You're right. Most superheroes preferred math. There were four votes. What did superheroes least prefer? You're right. Science and reading. It was a tie. Here's another pictograph. Again, pictographs have titles, letting us know what this graph is about. Here's another one on favorite fruits. Down below is where you'll see the labels on this pictograph. Apple, pear, cherries, grapes. And going up is the data. Could you take a look at it and tell us what is the favorite fruit of the class? You're right, it's cherries. There were one, two, three, four people voted for cherries. Now, this time, I want you to do some comparing. I want you to compare apples with pears. How many more people preferred apples than pears? Did you say one? Well, let's take a look at how we can solve this. Well, here were the same amount of votes the same amount of votes. Look, there's one apple and no pears. So we had one more vote for apple than we did for pears. The last type of graph we're going to look at today is called a bar graph. Our bar graph also has a title, favorite fruits. It has the labels here on the side or down on the bottom You'll sometimes find them on the side, but this one happens to be down on the bottom. And the data that's going up. And you'll see 
there are boxes that they're coloring in for each vote. If I wanted to this time compare cherries and grapes, how many more people voted for cherries than for grapes? Well, let's take a look. Cherries and grapes, same amount of votes. Cherries and grapes, no one voted for grapes, but one, two, three more people voted for cherries. Let's take a look at this graph. Point to the title. Did you point up here? What is your favorite sport? Great. Will you point to the label? You got it right down here. Football, baseball, basketball, kickball. Where's the data? You're right. This information is your data. Well, I'm going to ask you a few questions using this bar graph. What is the student's favorite sport? Did you say baseball? You'd be correct. Baseball had six votes. What is the student's least favorite sport? Did you say basketball? Basketball had the least a number of votes with only one, two, three. Well, let's do a comparing problem. How many more people liked baseball than basketball? Well, the same, the same amount, the same amount. Oh, they have more. One, two, three more. Three more people liked baseball than basketball. Today we're going to be working on some graphs that look like this. This graph, first they want us to fill out the tally chart using the information in the picture. Once our tally chart is complete, we're going to fill in our bar graph and then answer the questions that go along with it. So let's look at the picture and record our data using tally marks. The first word says bowls, so let's count up the bowls. There are one, two, three, four bowls, so I need four tally marks. One, two, three, four. Great. The next word says cookies. Now they're talking about sheets of cookies. So there's one cookie sheet, two cookie sheets. One, two tally marks. Whisks. A whisk is what you mix the batter up with. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven whisks. I want to keep my tally marks nice and neat and close together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to double check. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. There were seven whisks and seven tally marks. And the last one is hats. How many chef hats did I have? I had one, two, three. So I'm going to put three tally marks. One, two, three. Now it's time to use the information on my tally chart to create my bar graph. Let's start with the bowl. My tally chart said there were four bowls, so I'm going to color in one, two, three, four boxes. I'm going to switch the color to make it easier for me to see. The next one is cookies. There were one, two cookie sheets. One, two. Let's take a look at the whisk. There were seven. I'm going to color seven boxes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And the last one are hats. The tally chart said there were three hats, so I'll color three boxes in my bar graph. One, two, three. I'm now ready to use the information from my tally chart and my bar graph to answer some questions. The first question asks, how many bowls? Well, I could use my tally chart and see there were four tally marks, 
or I could use my bar graph and there were four bowls so there were four the next question asks how many whisks if I look at my tally chart there's seven tallies if I look at my bar graph it goes all the way to seven so the answer is seven whisks the next question asks me how many bowls cookies whisks and hats so I'm going to circle what they want me to add together they want bowls cookies whisks and hats they want to know all of the things all together so I can count my tallies one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen I could also go through and count all of the squares I colored in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen they matched up the last question asks how many more whisks than bowls are there so I'm going to compare whisks and bowls so I'm going to see when they're the same and at what one is more so bowl and whisk they're the same 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 uh oh there's no more bowls but there's more whisks how many more whisks one two three more whisks than bowls today you are going to be doing your own graph and it's going to look like this it's a president's day graph and you're going to look at the picture and record your data using tally marks and then use the tally marks to create a bar graph and then use the tally chart and the bar graph to answer the questions below the tally marks you are graphing Washington. Do you remember from President's Day what Washington looked like? This is Washington right here. The next thing you're going to mark off are the flags. So look for the American flag. Then you're going to look for Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Remember he wore the tall hat, had a beard. And then another American symbol are is the bald eagle. So you're going to count up the eagles and put the tally marks. After you've completed the tally marks and filled out the bar graph, you can answer the questions down below and then turn it in.